Hudson's forklift has an hour meter, but it really needs an odometer because this thing's got a lot of highway miles. And it's not Dunville unless you see somebody driving a forklift or a lawnmower down the road. And people automatically think DUI. But you never know. <laughs> they could just be picking up a transmission from the neighbors, so. It seems that every time we do something, there's one thing holding us back, either parts or something's wrong or missing. That the lights are all working, a little bit persuading. Get ourselves a nice headache rack. And there was nothing specific for a K100, but it'll work exactly for what I need it to. Customizing custom part is just in my DNA, I guess. This is all I can do to, uh, to lift up on that. Our truck originally came with a 10 speed. And Phil said right away, I've got a couple 13 speeds kicking around. All right, so I'm just gonna do like a, a night in the shop, kinda. Um, I got my buddy giving me a hand. We're gonna try and put the rat in, we'll see how far we get. Basically, this is the first time we're going over center with the cab to give us as much room as possible. I took the ladder off again. So now we just think I can go up to the ceiling fan. And then I gotta stop. We just let all the air in the tires and it'll clear. Yeah? Okay, so now we're just waiting on. Um, this is nerve wracking for me because it's like. <laughs> it goes on its own. And then they're like, if it doesn't stop. If we're, if we're good, that'd be, that's fantastic. I think so. Yeah? You wanna come take a look real quick? See if you can judge you it, but I think it's gonna be fine. Yeah? Just enough, just enough, just enough. Yeah, okay, here, keep going. It's moving on its own now. Yeah? A little bit. I don't think so. Oh, I think you're fine. Yeah, you got lots of clearance on the fan. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> scary. <laughs> this is just scary, yeah. Um, this is a, we got lots of room here, so this, this is gonna hit. Uh -huh. That's really annoying. What's gonna hit? Uh, just the That's front. Fair. This uh, this is gonna hit right here, I think. Or maybe not, I don't know. Just keep an eye, I, I think this is the first thing that's gonna hit. So, so right here, yeah. and right, right here. So, it's like a cartoon where if it falls, okay. Coop will be okay. Yeah, you're in the hole, just stay there. <laughs> Should clear the fan. Okay. Yeah, it's clearing the fan lots, yeah. Can you stop it though? Yeah. You did try? Yeah, so that's stopping it. Okay, good. Oh my god. You're just holding on. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So it's going the other it's way. It's going the other way now. Yeah, so I didn't go over center. I gotta keep going. Oh my gosh. It's freaking scary. scary when there's no paint down. I know. Still good there, Coop? Yep. I think you guys are fine here. A long ways to go before those hit. Yeah. It's going, it's going faster. Nope. Oh so God. that's just the tipping point. So now nice. I can let it down. It'll just go slow, slowly It'll just now. Go, it should go slow. 
Is your heart beating faster too? Yep. <laughs> You're okay here. Okay. He's in the hole, he's good. We're good? Okay, you know what? Are the wires gonna be fine? Like you're not stretching yeah. the wires there? This is getting a little tight in here. Yeah, I think we can leave it. That's lots to yeah, I think we can put the end this. in. Yeah. Is it locked in place now? <laughs> it can't go any farther because it like that's the end of the cylinder. Is it? Okay. But but that's the only safety. There's no other safety. If the cylinder blows apart, then Yeah, we got two of them. So. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay. Let's get around. So so yeah, this is uh lots of room. Lots of room for activities. It's amazing I missed that fan. <laughs> They say going to the gym is good to get your heart rate up, but I couldn't get your heart rate up without doing any work at all, Coop. Yeah. You got the radiator back. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is grab the extension and then I'll spear it through here and then uh, just use Kevin's forklift and stick it on. So I'll grab the, grab the extension. When I took it off, I watched the video again. I uh, I didn't use the extension on it. I just used the fork, so I was just able to reach it. Mm -hmm. And then I pulled the uh, transmission out with it, and that's like all this forklift could do. So I don't know. It'd be. What was that? What's with the blue light? Tell us where you're gonna go. I was just gonna loop it. I was gonna stick it right through. Okay. You know? Oh, you weren't trying to scissor. I wasn't there. trying to scissor that. Oh, I thought I, you I were. I did that. Oh, that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty impressive. I thought you were supposed to. <laughs> yeah. The chain's locked in there, but it's not locked completely. Right, right, right. Okay. Well, they're fine, Rich. Yeah. Yeah, you're okay? You're gonna strip anything? I don't know why that top. The top won't? 
an entire GP. It's just, they're like, ah, they'll never use 5.8, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can see the ground there. You still got that wire brush? I'm gonna just hit the threads with the wire brush. No. Yeah, I don't know why that didn't start. They're okay. Still spin on, they're fine. Yeah, that's what I mean. Start the Okay. You gotta go up first and then straight. Yeah, those those ones there. So let me I'm gonna set in my forks again so I can do some of that. So I'm gonna slide to the right. Can you side shift over to the right? Yeah. Okay, now you can come down again. Okay, come down. Okay, just wait a minute. I think I need to be inside this frame. Okay, just go up a touch, Rich. Go down. Come down a little bit again. Go down. Oh, just wait a minute. Okay, I see a problem here. Um, I didn't see that. We gotta go up again on this. I gotta twist it around this, this clutch piece and oh. then bring it back. I didn't see that. I was looking over here. Oh, shit. No, it's not a big deal. I'll just put it in. Just, just, just put gonna, it there. Just yeah. gonna go up a little bit. <laughs> just so I can twist it. Yep. Going up. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. Don't go up any further. Can you go down a little bit? Go down. Okay, just wait a minute, Rich. Okay, go down just a touch. Go down. Just gotta get past that linkage. Go down, real quick. Go down. Yeah. Can we go way past it? I'll see what's and then and then swing it back. See, it's catching just a little bit. Just see, that, see over here though. I had like 
two two nuts. It's yeah. it's grabbing it's grabbing on this end. Like see now it's like a lot. Well, come take a look on the other side. Yeah. See it's hitting here. Oh yeah, because yeah. it's been, I'm pushing it over. Yeah, let me way. let me get that linkage out. Can you just push that bolt in, or yeah, no? yeah. And then just push it. Yeah, just like that. Just leave it like that. Yeah. I'm gonna cut the threads off that a little. What is that skinny box? Yeah. So I'll leave two threads sticking out. And that's fine. Anyway. That's fine, right? Yeah. And I might cut two threads off the left too. So you, it was pretty tight coming out. Uh, I can't remember. It was a long time ago. It was November. <laughs> Probably just ripped it out. <laughs> yeah. Two bolts here. This other front one here that's holding that bracket too. Six millimeter. I drove all through Hamilton. Nobody's got it. That's good. I'll put that right there so we know. Yep. So I'm gonna go up. Yeah, just up a little bit. Yeah. Just, give me a second. Okay. Can I go up? Yep. Okay. Down? Yep. Go down. Don't want to come ahead at all? Uh, nope. I'm going to go down just a little bit, yeah. Okay. Uh, down a little bit, just a touch. Go down. Yep. Okay. Okay. Looks like we're all clear. Go down the rest of the way, Rich. Okay, going down. Uh, just the rubbers. Just the rubbers? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so that one's... Yeah, well, that one's already wrecked, right? That one's already wrecked, yeah. That's how it came out. It'll last it like that since factory, I'm sure. Um, yeah, poke it in with a screwdriver. Yeah, thanks. Because the, the hole is tapered, right? I think you just uh, get enough. You know, that one's monkeyed right up. It might go through yet. It's, it's almost in there. There you go, see? Oh, yeah. I, I... We 
think happens if we just torque them up? It'll probably pull through now. <laughs> I bet you it'll pull through. It's like just the time you get. Other side. Yeah, I'm gonna. How's this? Tight again. Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> well, the forklift's tipping over. It's just that auto lower feature. <laughs> That's a little bit lower. Extension. Summers paint that all up or? No, I did. Looks good. Just a little bit on the bottom of the core there. It's funny, you paint a rad, this angle looks great, and then you look at this, and you're like, oh, it looks like you missed a whole bunch. You need to paint it like all four directions. Can't tell whether it's. It's pretty, there's, it's impossible to cross thread it because it's jammed in there sometimes. <laughs> yeah? That just comes to the end, which is perfect. Yeah. That is crazy. Lots of room. Look at that. That's not the tank. How else are you supposed to service that? <laughs> oh man. That'll be fine. No, I know. It's just. Oh, those are tight. That's crazy. Should we give the mechanics like half inch? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. It fell. It's gone forever. It's probably in the frame. Oh, I found it. Sorry. Okay. It's probably hold. It. No, I didn't. Was the issue just that you went the wrong way? I should have had these bolts going yeah, the other way. The other yeah. Way. yeah, and that's one of the yeah one of those things oh, you perfect. don't yeah. you forget and you don't think yeah, about it. Yeah. Fingers. I'm wondering if it sits up here and it has a long arm on that. I thing. think it does, and it's pointing up. Let's change that bolt anyway. Um, okay. I should be able to move the clamp and drop it down. Okay. Uh, need to wrench again. Yeah, 716. Did you have one somewhere? What are you thinking? Big bar and just reef on it? What? The, or is it you think that's oh, tight? that's tight. Okay. I ain't going anywhere, Rich. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. I think we're okay now. Nice. Nice job, Rich. 
Yeah. Yeah, that went pretty good. Uh, well, it went a lot. took a lot longer than I thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> but that seems to be the theory, the theme. So yeah, I think uh, I think the engine should go pretty straight forward. Throw the fan in there, and then like I can't side shift. Oh, you can't. At no, all. but what we can do is roll the truck forward and back, right? We should. Is there enough room to roll the truck forward right onto the door so you can just come straight through? Yeah. Like come from that. Yeah, yeah. I was actually thinking cranking the wheels and pushing it forward. Oh, okay. And then and then we can kind of angle. I don't even need to move that much. I just need to angle it, right? Yeah. Because then I can come come in nice this way. But then if the wheels are straight, then just we can roll the truck forward and back, right? So I can come in here, mm -hmm. and then we can roll the truck back to, to push the fan in? into yeah. the thing, and then uh, it goes. So it's tight right here, like. It um, just comes through. It just comes through. So you, you almost need to like tilt it Over. And, and stick one under this lip and then, and, then, and then drop it down. That's, that's the only thing. So we got to twist it a little bit. Yeah, hook up a whole bunch of stuff tomorrow. It'll almost look like a truck. Again, it was looking too hollow for a long time. Aaron's getting worried. <laughs> like, you're saying you're close, but the engine's on the floor. <laughs> it's not that bad. All right, we're going to call that a night um, before, if we work too, too late, next day's a write off. So we've got a full day tomorrow. So engine, hopefully transmission, and then hooking up a bunch of stuff. Um, so star wipe and the next day, because you can see you're only halfway done watching the video. So obviously there's more. Here we go. And there she sits. <laughs> she locked? Yeah. Good. Let's get this off foam and just cuts itself out. Yeah. Okay, next morning, we rolled the truck ahead and just turned it a little bit, got a little bit of an angle on it, just so we're lined up with the door. Basically picked up the rig, measured from here to here. We should be able to clear the tires, no problem. We're gonna boom it in place over top and then more than likely pull the truck back so that it's in, in the right place. Um, I can't side shift, it's too heavy. And uh, this is all I can do to, uh, to lift up on that. So, uh, wait for my buddy to come and then uh, we'll boom it in. If he doesn't show up in the next five minutes, we'll do it without him. <laughs> Here we go. I'm already on uh... there. I get it. Yeah, I'm clear now. Yeah, I was just I was just resting on that, but I got to back up a hair. Yeah, uh, Aaron, if you can just keep yeah. it on the rod and just lean forward. Yep. And videotape. No. And commentate. <laughs> it's one or the other. And make sure we don't do any damage. It's all on you. <laughs>
It just clears. It does. It does fit. I, I, I know it fits. <laughs> I had it in that twice on my own. So. <laughs> there was the cab in the way. But. Yeah, going down. Yeah. Okay, I'm hitting something there. Yeah, you'll we'll probably have to go back. Back now, I think. I really don't want to take that. Mount off? Mount off, no. Will it clear? It did clear, yeah. Uh, what do you hit? Think, I think I did have to roll the engine a little bit, but like I did, I did get it in, so it, the, this engine was in this ring. Yeah, oh, I know that. Yeah. So I can keep coming down on this side, but I think I'm hitting on that side. Not yet, you're not. No? No, you will no, be, the, but the, hopefully if the that's- The upper side, frame there, right? Well, you got still, you still got a hair there. You can go down a little bit because that's that's got an angle to it, right? Yeah. Oh, it'll just shove it over. Yeah. Okay. And then then I'm past. Yeah. The, the moon on this side. Okay. Okay. There, you're you're touching the frame on this side now. Yeah. And then I'm. Are you stuck? I see. I just. Yeah, I, I, I bet if I drop it, it'll just hang up on that side and it'll mm -hmm. flip past this yep. side, yeah. And then, and then it'll be free again. Okay. Going down. Is it, is it still moving? Yeah. There it goes. Yep, it is too. It's going yeah. to. Okay. There it goes. There it goes. Nice. Okay, now we got a... Okay, oh, just wait a minute, we got a problem here. Um, go up. You have to go up a little bit. Yeah. I didn't see that. Go down. Yeah, go down again now. Yeah. So, um, that's fine. The engine's got to go back um, about an inch. Okay. All right. So my my mount just cleared the frame. This one just will drop as soon as. He put some more pressure on yeah. it. Yeah. And this is clear now. Yeah, as soon as the weight is on there, we're not moving the engine, right? So is it touching that now? It's close, yeah. Okay, going down. There we go. Did it go? Yeah, there, there we go. Right. Now it wants to. Okay, like I'm so close on my side here for holes. Oh Look yeah. Right oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so the front's gotta come my way. Yep. Like it's got to be pushed over, right? Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Uh, the fan on the front pulley there is okay? Like the balancer? Yeah, it's great. I'll put it like in front of that. Yeah. We got clearance there. Yeah, so I'm starting to hit my mount here. I gotta. Okay, so can we? Uh, I gotta we got a nice back. long bar or something. We can kind of jam in this because my holes on my side are lined up. Like that pin is right. <laughs> so I just threw a, a piece of bar on this side. Okay. And it's like it's it's on the hole, like it's in the hole. So put that there, and then what I'll do is I'll push on the front of the engine. Yeah. Maybe that will. Uh, Cause I got a pin on this side. Okay. No? No, just not. Just not enough, eh? Just not enough. Let me uh, ratchet strap it. Yep, that pulled it back. Yep. Yep, there we go. Yeah, That's the fronts want. are pretty well lined up. Yep. Okay. Pretty close. 
Did you drop that pin in? Yeah. Yeah, I'm in. Uh, I'm actually ahead too much. There you go. Oh, that helped. Yeah. to touch. Yeah. Put the new stuff around. Yeah. Looks so small. <laughs> We can uh, pull the truck back again. Now we got room to walk around the front. I'm just taking it nice and slow. Let's see if it pulls around. <laughs> there she is. Hopefully she's all good to go. Clean her up a bit, splash some paint on it. Throw it in. Nice. Just a man and an Eaton 13 speed on a forklift driving down the highway. Okay, um, our truck originally came with a 10 speed and Phil said right away, I've got a couple 13 speeds kicking around that I'm not doing anything with. One was, uh, was an unfortunate misdiagnosis. He bought it, uh, put it in the truck because it was making a big clunk and uh, swapped it out for another 13 speed and it was doing the same clunk. So it ended up being in the diff, which was a odd, it's like a, a tooth was missed, something broke, which was very peculiar and he's never had it before. And he's like, oh, I got an extra 13 speed. So go ahead and take this. So we're gonna clean it up, replace the shifter, obviously, uh, make sure that it's okay. Probably replace the clutch brake, make sure there's no water in it. And then we are good to go to put this in. So. Physically, they're the same size. We just got an extra three gears, so there you go. So pretty cool what a little bit of uh, degreaser does on it and a good pressure wash. Got most of the scale off, wasn't too bad. But now comes the, uh, <laughs> the, the real test. Should change the oil, I guess. There's not that much in there. It's mostly full of gears and stuff. But as long as there's no water in here, that would be bad. So get some nice honey colored oil. Yeah, that looks good. We'll leave that alone for now. I'll change the oil when we're in there. But that being said, this plug does not look happy. So it used to be a square. Welcome to Canada. I'll try and get that out and then we'll splash some paint on it. Taking Phil's word on it that it's a good transmission. I'm not, <laughs> definitely not a new one, <laughs> but maybe there's a rebuild video a little bit down the road, so we'll see what happens. Here we go. Okay, so if I would have planned ahead better, I should have done this a long time ago. I thought it was in Phil's shop, honestly. <laughs> I should have asked, but um, maybe get a seal for this and maybe figure out the hoses for the cooler because ours doesn't have a cooler and you know, whatever. But I got so much on my mind. I've completely just wrote the transmission off because Phil said he had a good one for me. And then I'm like, okay, check off the list. But keep in mind that it only takes like 45 minutes to pull this thing from the cab. So the tilt the cab up, uh, a couple rows of bolts and linkages and the transmission's out. So if we have any issues or leaks or um, whatever, we can worry about that later. That being said, wiring is well under control while I was doing that. 
Uh, buddy here was doing all the loom nicely. We got Phil's truck parked right outside with the cab up so we can go back and forth and take a look because we, obviously I took it apart, somebody else put it together. I did label for the most part everything, but um, everything's back in nice new tech clamps put together. So that is good. We got to mount our um, coolant filter yet and then uh, the bracket for the uh, fill and the dipstick and then we can start putting the uh, rest of it together. So uh, I'm going to splash some black on the transmission now that that's dry and we're going to mount the transmission and man that's been a good day. Here we go. Okay, so Phil said the transmission was next to new, um, but we're gonna we're gonna replace this anyway <laughs> with that one. Bam! I need two hands, but you get the idea. Okay, so we got the transmission painted and did the Dupont tune-up. Basically, this is just gonna get us the Motorama, taking Phil's word on it. We got to put a wet line on it yet. The second tank is a hydraulic tank. It's cut down the middle. It's got a baffle in it for hydraulic oil. So we'll put a pump on it and all that. We'll drain the transmission then, change all the fluid, put the uh, temperature sensors and everything in it then. For now, just gonna cross our fingers, hope it makes a three hour trip, and then we'll feel the transmission out, see how it goes, and then make a decision from there. But uh, same thing with the engine. Probably at some point we'll do a complete rebuild. Maybe we'll get into the Eaton then and rebuild it then too, but not right now. Right now we're just going to throw it in. Here we go. this thing and the intake right the intake we can pull right back off again and we can pop these bolts out easily enough and just lift that up or we no. tilt it and walk it under but that's uh kind of a pain too we gotta keep this uh, cover off too we need that cover off to uh see what's going on in here oh so yeah, yeah the yeah. fingers around that right yeah okay uh, it won't take a minute to uh, take this back off again. It's kind of kind of in there to cut into it. I got it. You got it? Just yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Kind of it in your dirty hands. Yeah. Um, okay. You got it? I think so. Hmm. Now we gotta drop the drive shaft. Yeah, that's not even close. Where's the tape measure? I grabbed the wrong transmission. Same thing. Over here. Yeah. That's it's like four inches longer. <laughs> that's okay. Don't worry about the drive shaft. Set. 
or whatever, or he's gonna bend to cut a chunk out and <laughs> we'll call it back up. <laughs> we just cut that end off and draw the other end in there. Why is it off? Oh, it's like just a rubber. Yeah. No, 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 no. Why is it off? Shouldn't that be straight up? So the drive shaft's too long, but we got to take the whole thing apart anyway because the uh, the, the U joints aren't in phase. So, so you see this one, both yokes are sideways. Both of these yokes need to be straight up and down. That's up and down. That's horizontal. That's vertical. That's horizontal. So this one was probably vibrating pretty good. Um, maybe that's how it keeps trucker his, his truckers awake. This is going on. Well, just, uh, maybe that's what put him to sleep. <laughs> it didn't up in the ditch. So. <laughs> so we either have to shorten this, we'll just trim that down to about here and get Vince to weld that. <laughs> or we should uh, get one made. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay, you want me on the other side there? Just give me a second. I can probably just, just, just leave it like that. Leave it like that until they're right back again after I drop it down. Just, just hold this coop. Okay, how, how, how are we on the front there? I can't see anything. Give me yeah. a second, Rich. What's that? I'm just gonna look at the front here. Yeah, uh, it's the only one bolt holding that cover on. Okay, we, we actually can't, we have to go back. Maybe farther back, I side Yeah, because you're gonna end up hitting on that. Yeah, I, I side shifted all the way to the right, thinking I could just side shift it right in, no yeah. problem, but apparently not. So we have to go back quick. We can, uh... What do you want to do? Frame a little bit? Yeah. Well, that well, should I'm be not... enough. Okay. So let me... We just need to get off that... Uh... Yeah, yeah. I'll keep driving forward. I think if I put air in the bags and lift up, that'll be easier. It'll level out a little bit because the right. transmission's level, but the engine isn't. So. Yeah. I 
in it. Fingers are right. Okay, there's one disc. Okay, oh. There should be some little tension on the cable now. She's partially in. Yeah, I think uh, this needs to go up right here. I think, I think we're up too high at the back yet. Yeah. Like I slid most of it by hand, you know what I mean? Like I yeah. just went and sucked stuff in there. I think I gotta drop that one down here. Should put a jack underneath just in case. You think it's gonna drop on you? Oh. No. Yeah, I'd rather yeah, put a jack. Yeah, too much pressure. There you go, Rich. You can let a little bit off if you want now. Yeah. You should be able to. Okay. I think that's. Did it roll back? It, it did because now it's nice and free, right? Yeah. Not so, pinching it. I'm gonna let. Can I let down now? Yeah, I think so. Oh, too much. Um. Yeah. I gotta check that again. Just one. Can you do it? I think I gotta go up with forward with the head. at the right angle now. We're pretty close, yeah. We gotta go. Wait, wait, huh? The fingers hit. There you go. There yeah, you that go. just suck it, in a little bit. I think it did. Fingers are over top now. That's good. Oh, oh no, lost it again. Um, there we go. Suck in. Now to go, yeah. So fingers are right. Uh, we're close. Oh, that's good. Yeah, maybe just. Um, Try side shift some more. Just moved again. Yeah. Just stuck. Yeah. Got her. That's what you want. We got her. That's it's what it. you want. It's That's in. Yeah. A couple bolts. <laughs> nice. That worked out really nice. Yeah. People, people don't realize how nice a cab over is. Imagine doing this <laughs> on your back, swing. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna have to. We have to spin it a little bit. The bolts are not like. Uh, yeah, I saw that. Not quite there. They're close. Close. Oh, poor Richard screwdriver. Just gonna rotate. Just yeah. Try to. If it's not too. Uh, that's, Oh, oh. Too far. Yeah, okay. Um, Put the jack on it, I guess. On one corner, yeah. yeah. So we want on the, more on the right-hand side. 
Lots of room on the, for the tanks. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Oh, she's pushing back out. Okay. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to rotate though, does she? Don't want to go on her own. We're there, Rich. It's in there. I That's know. That's the, hard, the hardest part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't have a jack that can uh, rotate. See. Yeah. Um, well, that's kind of can we let one of these ends down a little bit? Oh, no. Cause... Well, I, so I'm on the jack on this side. So if you let this one down, it might rotate. It doesn't fall backwards. Well, it'll, it'll split. It'll start splitting open. If you put tension on that, the fork will actually Oh, yeah, yeah. Close. I see. Okay. All right. If that makes any sense. Yeah. I think that did work. Can't see anything now. <laughs> it's actually in. Yeah, so I'm um, are close. Uh and just do screwdriver or small punch. Can I have that one? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> These holes so tight on the bolts. That should be about it. Yeah. Can I have a bolt? I should be up. It lined up? Yeah, perfectly. I don't know what your problem is. <laughs> I got many problems. Oh, I think I got that one. Okay. Two bolts will be plenty. Yeah? Yep. Beauty. Cool. Put a couple more in there. It'll take a little bit of tension off. And then, uh... Yeah, I gotta clean up if you want. Engine and transmission in. I just need a drive shaft. <laughs> I just need a drive shaft. I can fire it up and drive it out. Phil's missing all the fun. I asked Phil to give us a hand. And uh, the other day, I'm like, remember when I helped you put that engine in that payloader? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, we're putting the transmission in on Friday. He's like, oh, let me know when you're done. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to me until you're done. <laughs> So you want me to give you a free transmission <laughs> and then you want me to install it too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be there when you find out your drive shaft's too short. <laughs> but I lied to you. <laughs> Was it, is it four inches longer? I think so. But it's way more than the drive shaft. So that's it. That's it for today. Um, it's actually a holiday. It's, it's Easter. Um, we're gonna finish this up in the morning. We just wanna uh, button it up so that it doesn't move. But uh, that was a very successful day. I'll probably come back out tonight and paint a bunch of brackets and finish up some odds and ends to try and scratch some stuff off the list. But uh, that is it. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, regular scheduled programming will continue and you'll see most of this in a time lapse as we uh, install the last of the chrome, the air filter, all the plumbing, we're getting there. We might actually make it to Motorama April 29th with this truck. Um, so hopefully we'll see you there. And hopefully after touching just about everything on the truck, except for the internals, um, nothing will break or let us down or leak. It'll be fine. Here we go.